Welcome to this video where we'll be diving into the exciting world of Llama 3.1, specifically, the 70 billion parameter version. If you're familiar with its predecessor, Llama 3, you're in for a treat because Llama 3.170b takes things to the next level. This model has shown remarkable performance in benchmarks, outshining its predecessor and setting new standards for large language models. In this video, we'll be exploring the GPU requirements needed to run this powerful model, especially focusing on different quantization methods that can make a big difference in performance and memory usage. I've also created a tool that you can use for free to select a model and see which GPU can run it at different quantization levels. The link to the tool is in the description below. Before we dive into the specifics, let's take a moment to understand the different quantization methods. Quantization is the process of reducing the precision of the numbers used in the model, which can significantly lower the memory requirements and computational load. There are several levels of quantization, including FP32, FP16, INT8, and IN4, each offering a different balance between precision and efficiency. FP32 32-bit floating point This is the highest precision level, but it also requires the most memory. FP16 16-bit floating point This reduces memory usage by half compared to FP32 while maintaining good precision. INT8 8-bit integer Further reduces memory requirements, but at the cost of some precision. In 4, 4 4-bit integer. The lowest precision, which drastically reduces memory, but also lowers the model's precision. Now let's break down what these quantization levels mean in terms of GPO requirements for running Llama 3.170b. Starting with In 4, which is the most memory efficient but least precise quantization method. To run inference on Llama 3.1, 70 billion parameters using IN4, you'll need it at least 40 gigabytes of video RAM. If you're aiming for full atom training, which requires more resources, you'd need around 128 gigabytes of video RAM. For low rank fine tuning, with 2% of the parameters being trainable, you'd need about 72 gigabytes of video RAM. For example, you could use a single RTX A6000 with 48 gigabytes of video RAM to run inference. For full atom training, you'd need three RTX A6000, and for low rank fine tuning, two RTX A6000 should be sufficient. Next up is in Tate, which strikes a better balance between precision and memory usage. With in Tate, running inference on Llama 3.170b requires at least 80 gigabytes of video RAM. For full atom training, you'd need around 260 gigabytes. And for low rank fine tuning, about 110 gigabytes of video RAM would be required. A single H100 with 80 gigabytes of video RAM can handle inference. For full atom training, you'd need four H100s. And for low rank fine tuning, two H100s should do the job. Moving on to FP16, which offers a good compromise between precision and memory. For FP16 quantization, you'd need at least 155 gigabytes of video RAM for inference. Full atom training would require around 500 gigabytes of video RAM, and for low rank fine tuning, you'd be looking at around 200 gigabytes of video RAM. In terms of GPU, two H100s with 80 gigabytes of video RAM each would be enough for inference. For full atom training, you'd need around 7 H100s, and for low rank fine tuning, 3H 100s would suffice. Finally, let's talk about FP32, the highest precision level. You would need around 300 gigabytes of video RAM for inference. If you're doing full atom training, you'll need nearly one terabyte of video RAM, 984 gigabytes to be exact. For low rank fine tuning, you'd need about 330 gigabytes of video RAM. For example, you'd need at least four H 100s to handle inference. 13 for full atom training, and 5 for low rank fine tuning, with 2% trainable parameter. And that's a wrap! We've gone through the different quantization methods and the corresponding GPU requirements for running Llama 3.70b. By understanding these requirements, you can better plan your hardware needs depending on the level of precision you require. 
Whether you're aiming for the highest accuracy with FP32 or looking to optimize memory with INT4, there's a quantization method and GPU setup that fits your needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.